Yo, 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 SimpNation, are you ready to build with AI and make some epic bots using Python? This tutorial consists of five universal steps that you can apply to learning any code base in any language blazingly fast. If you want to know my secret that I learned from building AI applications from the better part of 2023, stick around till the end. It won't be long, I promise. But first, if you're wondering who is guiding you through this jungle, I am AI Sim, and guess what? I wasn't always this tech wizard, making AI tutorials on YouTube. No, I was deep into healthcare with an MBA to boot. But the magical world of AI caught my eye and I thought, why not dive in, spend 1000 hours figuring out the code and voila. If my journey has taught me anything, is that anyone, and I mean anyone, can master this. Stay with me and let's ensure that the future is shaped by us all. Step one we need to focus on creating something very cool. Project-based learning is what Elon Musk said is the only right way to learn anything. Since I've built lots and lots of chatbots using BotPress, VoiceSaw, FlowWise, my curiosity naturally gravitated towards Autogen. But instead of one bot, we'll be building AI bot community. Once you find an exciting project, learning any language is hella fun. Step two. Once we settle on the R tag stack, in this case is Autogen and OpenAI, next up is search up some Python code examples related to the tag stack. Since we're building with Autogen AI, let's Google search for Autogen code. Gen, so we do search and the search would be Autogen, right? GitHub, all the code lives in GitHub, Autogen, GitHub, Autogen, Microsoft, oh. 5,000 stars on GitHub. We basically be installing this. And as you see, installation is very easy. As long as you have Python version more than 3.8, you could pip install. As long as you have pip installed, you have pip install py autogen, done. Where are our examples? So notebook. Notebook is where your examples live. Okay, been here before. Uh, so basically here you will take any of the um, planning, group chat, group chat research, participants through multi-agent conversation. All right, so that does look like, all right. So you have scientists, you have a planner, you have executor, critic, group chat manager. All right, so as you see, this is kind of looks like what we work with. We have our config, we have our proxy agent, me, um, which is user proxy. Basically it's me, but proxy in the my version in there right in the conversation then we have an engineer planner so everybody right so we'll take this here you go so this is look at the code of autogen so basically paste text and give me bare minimum list of python lessons i need to teach my students so they can understand how to modify autogen uh, paste the information it gives me an outline and i think this is great but it's not good enough so we need the actual guide um uh, can you give me very detailed chapter description with all the concepts I need to cover, but in the progressive manner, so I can just take it and start teaching, and so my students wouldn't get confused because some concepts that are called for I haven't covered yet. Be very, very detailed. Have very picky students. All right. So here now we have basically this educational guide on how to understand how to work with this autogen agents. Here you go. You're an expert by internet. Teach me the principle and test before moving to the next point. Okay. Here's a daily lecture. Sure. So. Most important is to just create one lecture at a time. Don't try to rush uh, one lecture, one chapter at a time. So as we remember, we have total of nine. In the, initially, they are full of things. They're like busy, but they get lighter as you move along. Okay. Um, to start collab. So you're going to go to Google. You'll write Google collab. It's free, okay? So don't sign up. I don't think it's worth signing up for the paid version. So just stay on a free version. Um, po -po -po. All right, so you will say, welcome to Collab. And you say like, I wanna start a new notebook. Again, it's completely free. Run by Google. Right, and you're gonna call it chapter one. I like it to do like by chapters if they're long. Usually first chapters are longer. So here you basically have a code chapter and text chapter, okay? And uh, for instance, you wanna learn, let's do something like this, right? For instance, something that is a little bit more 
And as you see, I was basically <laughs> going over it just to, to see if, if I feel better, you know, if I feel like it actually works or not and how fast this process works. Um, correct your code, x, da, 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 like, okay. So I went through this whole chapter just to make sure of how well this works and it actually works uh, very well. All right, so copy it, chapter, and you say basically, boom, or na na na. So I have four I in range five, print I, right? So let's see what it does. It's running. Here you go. And what if you change it, for instance, to eight? Mm, print, uh huh. What if you change it to six here? It's nice. You basically have a tutor on this side and you have your own workstation over here with memory and you could retry it anywhere, basically. And you don't have to install Python. For instance, you just hang out on your on your work computer or school computer and you're not sure what kind of system they have or if the Python is installed or whatever, you just come in here and just do it, okay? Da -da -da, da -da -da. User proxy, human admin. Okay. All right, so look at this example that I have created for the clinical practice. All right, this is not the final product, but you'll get an idea. So this is admin created content plan for my blog on psychiatry for the next month, it include a list of topics and actual blog articles, blog articles and tweets. I'll provide you with specific tests if needed. You know what, let's just make, so, <clears throat> when you create it, it's here. Include a list of topics, publishing dates, and actual blog articles. And you say this, create a content plan for my blog psychiatry, okay? Um, and then content creator basically comes in, says, the code for Autogen is available in my Discord and my YouTube community. Feel free, download my Autogen and my, download my Autogen file, spin up in your environment or in Google Colab and have fun. Just make sure you put hard limits on your open AI because this, this bots are chatty.